This video is not intended for children. It is also not intended for cabbages. In recent years, many cabbages have been masquerading as human beings. Stop that. Likewise, many children on the Internet have been masquerading as adults. You should probably stop that, too. In any case, this video is intended for audiences from emerging adulthood, ages 18 through 27, onward. Unless you are a cabbage. So, after my Yu-Gi-Oh! experience, I started wondering what other vistas there might be for me to conquer. Isaac was gracious enough to offer to introduce me to gaming. Well, I know gaming. I was gaming since 1978. I was a ref in 1979. Granted, that was tabletop and not video gaming, but, you know, it's all gaming. How different could it be? All right. Where's the joystick? This is the controller. I can see that. Sega. Okay, and we're back. Yay! We're back for more nights, for more dreams, and this time, I've done research. Oh dear. What have you found in your research, O oh Wise One? Oh my god, a lot of stuff. Okay, so I got a lot wrong in the previous episode of Nights. I categorically um, forgive you. It really should have been blatantly obvious from the fact that we had Sega Saturn Dreams on the main menu, but this game was not released for the Dreamcast. It was released for the Sega Saturn. The main reason why I made that oversight is because I often forget that the Saturn existed. Um, when I think of the Dreamcast and its peer consoles, I think of the, the original PlayStation. I think of the Nintendo 64. I'm completely wrong. That's the previous generation. The Sega Saturn belonged to the generation alongside the PlayStation 1 and the N64. I think it's the... I should have at least remembered which generation it was, but I think it's the sixth <laughs> generation of consoles. I'm going to be wrong about something in this episode. It's just going to happen. That is the nature of unscripted content. But, but I do know now... This game was a Sega Saturn game. It was not a Dreamcast game. Oh, something I was going to say, I was wrapping up that point, but mm -hmm. there is a reason to consider playing as boy. I found out from my research, girl and boy have different levels. Oh, Because this is the girl's dream, and then the boy, he has his dream. And thereby, they are different worlds. Oh, okay, well, I guess I should play as each one then. Yeah. You know, we can be gender fluid about this, that's fine. So what we learned from last time is Paraloop Attack. Paraloop Attack! Also, spinning around and hoops around stuff together. Yes, you remember that? You figured that out before. Oh, I should also mention that I actually also know the names of the kids. Uh, Clarice, that's, that's the girl, and Elliot is the boy. Whee. And... They're not... Um, dreamscapians. Sort of they're not dreamscapians, they're nightmarens. And yeah, their goal is to stop the evil ruler Wiseman from destroying Nightopia and consequently the real world. Because yeah, without the realm of dreams, so too would the realm of man fall. And whoever has the control I also did some research on the development of the game. Uh huh. It's really interesting. First of all, it was uh, led by the creator, uh, one of the creators of Sonic, often credited as just the father of Sonic the Hedgehog, Yuji Naka, as well as Nato Ishima and Takashi Izuka. Just some serious Sega legends behind this one. And yeah, I called it that Knights was designed to be androgynous. Which is kind of uh, forward thinking for the time. That was, I mean, this game was made in 1996. It was made in 1996. So the concept of, you know, genderless really was kind of a new thing yeah. for the 90s. 
wasn't really a huge thing. But what's really interesting, I think... was pretty uptight. Yeah. Uh, they were... Radical and gnarly and full of attitude, bro. But also they were incredibly, incredibly safe. About... Yes. <laughs> which is... Yeah, it's actually a pretty... A pretty funny contrast that the 90s were all about, yeah, we're sticking it to society, man. You can't tell us what to do because we eat our Lunchables or whatever. Yeah. But it was extremely, extremely safe and not unchallenging for things like less than conventional sexualities and gender identities. Like, holy crap, was that yeah, sterilized as hell. Uh, the stories I could tell about some of the stuff people went through when I was in high school. Which was so weird because, I mean, a lot of us, we were looking at the 90s and we were like, the 90s are going to make the 60s look like the 50s. We've got to be ready for this, man. And no, not even a little bit. Yeah. I did not go to high school in the 90s, obviously. I am not a 90s kid. I was born in the year of our Lord, 1995. So... I'm not a 90s kid, trademark. Ribbons! Yay, more ribbons. Slight sidebar, that does really make me roll my eyes when my fellow millennials who, you know, grew up pretty much in the 2000s want to claim the moniker of 90s kid. Like, bruh, you were born in the 90s, just barely. Yeah. You were an infant during the 90s. It's cool if you love like the 90s era of animation because there was some great stuff in the 90s. That's totally fine. It's just weird that you would make a claim to being a part of some generation, which is kind of a fictitious idea anyway, uh, when you literally aren't. Don't really understand that. Yeah, most of the divisions that people have for one another, though, t ultimately are an illusion. I mean, this whole... You know, Boomer versus X versus Y versus Zoomer, and... Yep. Nice one. Fortunately, now that you know to make loops with the ribbons, I think we've seen the end of Nevermind. Whee! Although that was damn funny. Oh, something else I wanted to talk about, by the way, the uh, development on this game. The team actually conducted research on dreams and REM sleep, and were inspired by psychoanalysts such as Carl Jung and, yes, Sigmund Freud. Well, that makes sense. Ah, like, no! <laughs> so... Bastards! Get back here! <laughs> so last episode, when you said you blamed Sigmund Freud... Yeah. He's kind of to blame. Well, yeah, during his lifetime, uh, his book on the analysis of dreams, I think it was called, it wasn't hugely popular at first, but it ultimately became the work that he was best known for. It went through something like eight rewrites and republications as he continued to learn more about it. Uh, where the hell am I? There I am. Uh, yep, follow the blue arrow. Ah. Uh, and so, you know, there's this misconception that he was just all about childhood and... Young was all about dreams, and in actuality, they just had a very different viewpoint on what dreams meant. Because, to radically oversimplify it, uh, Freud believed that dreams were essentially a form of wish fulfillment, whereas Young believed that they were a window to the development of the person and the struggles and the triumphs that they were experiencing and their development, and even their individuation throughout their Cat. lives. This is not the time for your antics. This is totally the time for my antics. I am a cat. Uh, yeah, the cat, oh. Okay, that was really close. While I was trying to deal with the cat and his antics, I nearly knocked over a large container of drank. Ah, no, cat, stop. Seriously. Okay, there it is. He's playing with this cotton ball thing he found. Uh -huh. Here, here. You see it? And I'm see playing it? with sparkles. Go get it. Sparkly things. Ah. <sighs> he didn't see me throw it, so now he's still looking for it where it was before. I was trying to get rid yeah. of him, and he's still clawing by my feet looking for it. 
And somehow I am not distressed by any of this because I am in this incredibly cool world. You see the sock? Want the sock? Want the sock? Get the sock. Just piss off! Come on! I should have I'm all sorry, the blue kitty. things. I don't mean why, to be a bully. Why am I? Why is it not working? I has all the blue things. What? There's more blue things. Um, I wasn't looking at the screen. I was busy with my you silly fool, cat. You fool! You've doomed us all. I'm sorry. I know it's that, that's my job. That's why I'm here. Okay, you have blue things, but you're supposed to fly into the thing and destroy it. Remember? Yeah, and I. I thought you need, a, I need, a, thought need that... to have a total of twenty. Yeah. At one point or another. Oh. oh. They are scattered to the winds. That is unpleasant. Err. Defiance. This is unfortunate. Oh. Yikes. You can jump into the explodey thing, and you're good. Um, you gotta jump in. There's one I'm missing. No, you have enough. You've already hit it with a lot before. Yeah, I'm trying to get to it. Oh! The clock keeps bullying you. We are ever vexed by the laughing gesture that is time. Oh. Alright. You, you've got it. Jump for it before the clock gets you. Oh! Ah! Oh, okay. There we go, finally. Jeez. Now you follow the blue arrow so you can get the checkpoint and become I was flying a moment ago. I'm wandering through this twisted. What? Really? So I'm just going to cover more Knights trivia while you're yep. struggling. If that's uh, okay. Yeah, you do that. Die. I, I, this, this game needs more weaponry. No, I I will destroy you all! You will perish in flames! So, if we ah. play a Sega game where we have more weaponry, we can always play Shadow the Hedgehog. Ah. Did you see that? The terrain turned against me. Yes. Shadow the Hedgehog, which is an excellent transition. Because apparently the design for the evil ruler of Nightmare, Wise Man the Wicked, Wise Man the Wicked, um served as the base design for the antagonist of Shadow the Hedgehog, Black Doom. Ha! They have a lot of similarities. Okay, you did it. You All got right. to the nightmare. This is it. So, carefully studying the footage of the last time that you fought against this nightmare, it seems... Was I supposed to do that? Okay, well, I did that. Okay, it's... good. <laughs> Someone needed to. It <laughs> seemed that the paraloop attack that you hit him with those two times, uh -huh. he was just partially in the loop right when you closed Aha. it. Was he indeed? So that is what I think we need to shoot for. You need to tie him into a loop just just so. Ah, that did not work. Okay. And, and I think both times you hit him right in the head. Yes! Okay, yes. That was good. You got hit, but you see, but at least you hit him. And I'm, I'm glitched um, into him now. What? Can you move at all? No! Try pushing buttons. I'm pushing buttons. There we go. All right. <laughs> pushing all of the buttons is always the solution. Especially if that button is X. Speaking as a Kingdom Hearts player, just mash X to win. That's definitely all there is to playing Kingdom Hearts. Dude, yes, you can do this. Hit him a couple more times and you're golden. You hit him again! Is that it? Oh, his head is rolling around. I think he's gone. I think you got him. Yes! First night complete! Victory! Loop the loop! Loop all of the loops! Wait, wait, it's, uh, is it exploding? Yes. It it's okay. Spring Valley, overall ranking, E. New record! I, I will take that. Achievement unlocked! The ideal! Awesome. Oh, okay, I gotta love how all the high scores are Sonic characters. Yeah. Little shout out there. So yeah, you play, uh, press start to exit. Alright, let's try this one. Alright. Yeah, I was about to say, if you ask me which button to start again, 
Oh, the points can be doubled when the idea is retaken. Try your best to get more points in the remaining time. Okay. okay. Um. Hmm. Okay, so apparently now I should do this as Elliot. Because um, that gives access to his dreams? Uh, yeah. Each of them has their own stage, because it's, each of them has their own dream. Okay, well, you know. And I think that collecting gold stars might have something to do with the idea. How are you supposed to say that? I kind of have difficulty saying idea, reading it yeah. like that. And he gives his fist like, whoop! So he has Splash Garden, the affection. The affection. Alright, here we go. Oh, he gets bullied too, nice. Wait, wait, what? Oh, is that some... Okay, does that represent someone he likes? That's, am I supposed to chase them down? Alright, well... This is awesome. Yeah, it's a whole other level. Yep, we will explore this next episode then. Oh, yeah, we are just about out of time, it looks like. Yeah, so next episode, it's going to be the boy's dream, and hopefully the boy defeating his own nightmare as well. Yes! And an idea. And the affection? We'll just have to see. <laughs> <laughs> All right, till next time. Next time. Yes, Kitty? Wow. Yes, Tamashi? Huh? Wow. Do you like being in the video? Wow. Yeah? Wow. You did? Why weren't you talking when we were recording the episode, huh? Wow. Oh. Wow. Oh, I see. Oh, you got stage fright. Okay. Wow. Well, I'm glad you're over it now. Obviously. Here's the little ball you were chasing. What, you're right in the camera now. Hmm? Hmm? Here it is. Whoop. <laughs> okay. All right. One more? <laughs>